my question is how did you get the residents, the black residents of Darien to let you into their circle to give you their information and document the history that went on back then? Hey Audra, great question. So it's something I've thought about a lot over the years actually. What was happening was the African American community was chafing at the restrictions, chafing at the restrictions and wanting to make change. They needed lawyers. So it just so happened that Georgia Legal Services, the statewide program, had an office in Brunswick and another office in Savannah. And for people who were economically eligible, this was free legal service. These were free lawyers of an excellent quality. These were absolutely top-notch lawyers, most of them young. They were coming out of terrific law schools. They were coming out of law schools in Boston and Chicago and Atlanta, top lawyers, black and white. Um, so the black residents of McIntosh County reached out to the Brunswick office and the Brunswick office was in. Another thing that was interesting was um, that I'm Jewish. Uh, the Jewish population in McIntosh County was about then, oh, zero. So I think it was very clear to both black and white residents of McIntosh, clearer than it was to me at that time, that I looked like an outsider. I looked at, like an outsider to the white people. I looked like an outsider of the white people to the black people. And for the African-American population, that's like, that's cool. You know, this is, a, this is another minority, is, is how it looked to them. To the white people, it was like, what are you? The white people saw me as an outsider, and the black people knew that the white people would see me as an outsider, so it was like, come on in, we, we got your back.